with all of these cool people that have volunteered is what's called a relaxation style induction, okay? Any one of you out here can do the same thing. Just follow what I'm saying, follow every instruction, you'll find yourself hypnotized too. Please keep an eye out in case somebody goes down. <laughs> uh, first thing we're gonna do is fix people up. I like the fact that you're in the middle, but we're gonna change things up a little bit because you see, yeah, there you go. Stand up there, young fella. Stand up, you, right here. Yes, stand up, come over here. I got a place for you. Need you up. Have a seat right there, sir. Hold still, hold still. You get to move over there by the fire brave volunteer. I'll put you down on the end. That's a good spot for you. Come on up here. Right down here. Yep, that's it. That's it right there, please. Yeah, I like that configuration. That's good. That's good. <laughs> no snickering. All right. Those of you who have your legs crossed, please uncross your legs. Sit them down nice and flat. Something that you're going to remember is that you will not fall off your chair. No matter how hypnotized you become, you will not fall off your chair. You may be asked to get up from your chair but you will not fall off your chair. Okay, everybody got that? All right, very good. All eyes up here, please. Uh, okay, here's what we're gonna do. I want everybody to take your hands and put them down on your laps, just like this. Now turn them over and just let them sit there gently, okay? Everybody like that? Very good. All right, now I want everybody to just close your eyes. All you have to do is just listen to my voice. It's easy enough. No peeking. All right, everybody just take a deep breath, real deep breath, and just let it out nice and easy. Very good. Now take one more. All the way in, all the way out. Now this last one, take one more deep breath, and as you let this last one out, just let it out, let it out, let it out, let it out, and relax. Relax, relax, relax. What I want you to do is I want you to imagine the top of your head. Think about the hair that's up on the top of your head. And just let the muscles in the top of your head start to relax. And as that relaxation starts right there at the top of your head, just let it move on down. Move on down to your forehead and down to your neck. Let the relaxation, just let the muscles go loose. Loose, limp, and relax, just like a loose rubber band. Relax your face. Relax your nose, your ears, your jaws. Let all the hundreds of tiny little muscles in your eyes start to relax. Real simple. As that relaxation moves its way down, just let it relax your neck. All around your neck, front, back, all the way in the middle. Inside, outside, relaxing down across your shoulders. And as it goes across your shoulders, that upper neck area and shoulders right there, let it just keep moving down. Down your shoulders, down your biceps. And as it goes down your biceps, down your back, through your chest, just will let the muscles relax. Relax, 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 release. As it keeps moving down, let that relaxation move down through your middle, your middle back, all your stomach in the insides, and your front, all the way down to your hips. Just let it relax more and more. Let that relaxation move down to your hips, and from your hips down to your legs, top of your legs. Let that relax nice and warm. As you breathe easy, let that relaxation move across your knees. Let all the muscles in your knees relax. And as those knees relax, let that relaxation continue down to your calves. And as your calves start to relax, let it move on down to your ankles. And as it moves your ankles, on down to your feet, your heels, the arch 
even the toe. Everything points. Now just take a deep breath. Let it out. Nice and slow. I'm going to start at the top. And we're going to get more and more relaxed. Imagine all the hair on your head become relaxed. Loose and wet like a head of rubber bands. As that relaxation spreads out, imagine that it's taking away your stress, your tension, your worries and your fears. Just let it relax as it moves on down over your scalp, your forehead, your eyebrow, down over your ears. Just feel it slowly moving down, just relaxing every muscle bone. As it continues to go down right across your brow, your eyes relax. It will relax you could open your knee if you wanted to. As it continues to relax, relax your cheeks. The jaw muscles let it relax so much, your mouth may even open up, and that's okay because you're letting it relax right on down to your chin, through your neck, all around it. That's it. Don't worry if you feel yourself drooping just a little bit, that's what's supposed to happen. That's how relaxed you are. As you continue to relax, let it go down through the top of your back and shoulders. All those muscles down. Let it go through your chest, up to your arms, to your elbows, all through your chest, all through your middle, your forearms, your wrists, your hands, your fingers. Every piece of heart becoming completely, totally, utterly relaxed. And as you continue to relax, You'll notice that your stress, tension, worry, and fear just drain right out of you as you continue to relax. And let that relaxation move down through you, your stomach, down to your hips, and all that area all around there. Just relax that lower back. Let it relax. Deeper, deeper, relax. Calm. Calm. As it moves on down through your legs, the top of your legs, the bottom of your legs. All the way through those thighs, relax every inch to your knees. As it makes it to your knees, you can feel that tension just drawn away from you as it continues down past your knees, to your calves, and on down to your ankles. As it gets to your ankles, you'll feel that draw just more. Right up into your clothes, stress, tension, very good. And as I go through this relax, relaxation technique, you'll feel me come up behind you, you may feel me touch you. And I just want you to relax. It's real simple, just to let yourself go and relax. So relax. At the top of your head, let your scalp relax. Let yourself relax. Let it go on down, down deeper and deeper. More and more relaxed. More and more relaxed. You're doing perfect. Every one of you, let the relaxation move down to your ears, all across your face. That's it. That's perfect. That's perfect. Just relax, relax, relax. Let that relaxation move right through you. There you go. Just like that. You're doing perfect. Just perfect. As your neck relaxes, your neck relaxes. You'll notice that your chest and your shoulders, every area of the going to relax. You're going to feel loose, just like a foot. As you continue to relax, it goes right through your chest, going through the last stress, tension, worry, and fear of being hit. Let it continue down through your chest. Right on 
down to your hips. As it makes way through the top part of your legs and the bottom part of your legs to your knees. And the last time, one last time, going through your knees, drawing with it and stress touching. Down past your calves, to your ankles. And from your ankles through your feet and right up against your toes. Now, as each and every one of you continues to relax, I want you to imagine that you're at top of, on the top of the staircase. And as you're at the top of that staircase, you can see that there are 10 steps going down with a landing at step on number five. So let's start heading down those steps as you go deeper and deeper the step by step. As we step down, you'll notice the bends and how beautiful the entry is. Stepping down, 10. Now to step 9. And as we go down to step 8, we go twice as deep as we are right now. Step number 7. Deeper still. Step number 6 going deeper. And deeper, and deeper. And as we get to step number 5, you'll notice that you've gone to deeper and deeper. Just a moment before. As you continue to relax, Notice that you can see the bottom down. Yeah, it seems like it's a beach. So let's head on down and see what it is. As we go deeper and deeper, we go to step number four. Step number four takes you ten times deeper. Step number three, twenty times deeper. Step number two, even thirty times deeper. As you get down to step number one, you know when you take that glass step, just 100 times deep and more relaxed. So go ahead and take that final step right out to the beach. As you go on to the beach, what I want you to do is notice that there are chaise lounges out on the beach. Go over there and find yourself a nice chaise lounge. Get in that lounge and lay back. Relax and enjoy the sun. It's a perfect temperature in your in your most perfect beach wear, as you lay back, you'll notice that there are some few fluttering clouds here, there, in the next place. And they are just enough to keep the sun from beating down on you. You're enjoying each and every, each and every little breeze that goes by because it keeps you feeling just right, just perfect. The sun is not too hot, it's just perfect and feeling good. And as those clouds continue to move across the sky, you're going to notice it's going to start getting hot. And it's going to get hotter and hotter as that sun just seems to start beating down on you. So what I'd like you to do right now is to go ahead and sit up nice and straight in your chair. Nice and straight. As you keep your eyes closed, go ahead and sit up nice and straight in your chairs because I want you to feel, feel good. But just see yourself in that relaxed position. That's perfect. But that sun's starting to beat down. It's starting to get hot. Oh, it's starting to get hot. You might want to fan yourself a little bit because that heat is just bearing down and you can't really get out of it. So go ahead and put your hand up there. And just fan yourself just a little bit. As a matter of fact, there's a fan right next to you. One of those nice little Japanese flip open fans. Go ahead and pick that up and start fanning yourself with it. That's it. Pick it up right there. There, there it is. Go ahead and start fanning yourself. And cool off because it's getting hotter and hotter and hotter. You're starting to sweat because it's getting so hot. So very hot. As it gets hotter and hotter, you're going to notice that the clouds are starting to come back in. There's a little bit of a breeze, a little bit of breeze coming off the ocean. It's starting to cool you off. It's starting to cool you off. You're feeling better and better and better. And as you get cooler and cooler, you will find you don't need that fan anymore. And now, with all that sweat on you, you're going to notice that breeze kind of getting awfully chilled. Awfully chill, it's starting to cool off, and that breeze is getting a little bit stronger, it's getting cooler. 
and cooler and cooler. You might even feel yourself shiver. It's starting to get pretty darn cool out there. It's a good thing you brought a beach towel. It's a good thing you brought a beach towel. So, get that beach towel and put it over you. Get that beach towel and put it over you. Okay. <laughs> put that beach towel over you because it's nice and cool. Be careful. Be careful. You all right? All right. Put it over you because it's getting cooler and cooler. And now you're going to notice the sun coming back out through those clouds. The wind is starting to ease down. Ease down. That sun's coming out glowing again and you're starting to feel better and better and better. No need for that towel now. No need for that towel now. What I want you to do now is imagine that you're getting up from that chaise lounge. Getting up from that chase lounge. And what you're going to do is, you, they have these really cool dune buggy rides here on the beach, and I want you to go over to that dune buggy. And as you get in that dune buggy, what you're going to notice is that <coughs> not only will you feel, but you will experience. You will do this dune buggy ride just as if you were in. If you were to lean to the left, you will do just that. Lean to the left when they make that hard right turn because that's what would happen for people. And if you were to lean, if you were to turn to the right, you'll lean to the left. If you turn to the left, you'll lean to the right. You'll feel the bumps, just like that. And as you feel those bumps, you'll experience it. Nothing out here is going to hurt you or harm you because once you get strapped in in that dune buggy, go ahead and get into the dune buggy there and go ahead and put your seatbelt on. Everybody grab your seatbelt. Grab your seatbelt, get buckled in. Get buckled in, that's it. That's one of those five-point harnesses. Five-point harnesses. Get all buckled in there. Let's make sure you're buckled in. Go ahead and get buckled in. Make sure you're buckled in there. Let's have a look. There you are. Okay, here we go. Now this guy, I. Uh, I've heard these people out here that run these dune buggies are pretty crazy. And so, get ready, because we're about to take off with that dune buggy, and here we go. It's taking off. Here we go, we're going down across the beach, and we're going fast, we're going faster, and faster, and faster, and now we're going to turn to the left, turn to the left, turn to the left, turn to the left, and now turn to the right, turn to the right, turn to the right, there's a bump! There it is, you keep going faster. And faster and faster. Okay. Hold on, hold on to that extra bar there. Hold on because it's going to help you stay still. As we're going to, we got, look at that. We're going to start climbing a hill, leaning back as we're climbing that hill up. Be careful now. Be careful. Just hang on. <laughs> leaning back, leaning back, getting to the hill. Now we're going to go down that hill. We're going down fast. We lean forward. Oh my gosh, we're going fast down that hill. And look, there's a bump. There's a bump right there. It is. Here it is. Now we're turning hard left, hard left, hard left. And now hard right, hard right, hard right. Huh? Be careful, right there. And now we're slowing down from that dune buggy, right? Slowing down for that dune buggy, right? And now it's going to let you, let you out of that dune buggy. Everybody get unbuckled, get unbuckled, get those buckles off. Come on out of there. That's awesome. Now, what do you think about that, folks? Is that pretty cool? Everybody get to see? Well, we got to see up here. Isn't that cool? Give him a hand. Give him a big hand. That's it. They did a great. Each and every one of them. Now, just a moment. What I'm going to do is have you guys open your eyes, but you're going to wait until I ask you to do that. You'll stay completely, totally, utterly good eyes, just like you are right now. As you continue to relax, continue to be peaceful all inside, but you'll stay in that state that you're in right at this moment. And in fact, you'll find yourself going deeper and deeper and deeper into that hypnotic state, that comfortable zone. And we're gonna do some really cool stuff up here and you're gonna participate. What you'll notice is that I'll snap my fingers sometime as I say sleep. If you see me snap my fingers in front of you, we'll point to you and say that you'll go right back into this hypnotic state, just like you are, eyes closed. And so as you understand that, give me just one moment, and I'll be right with you. Here, here, there. All right, now I know you 
didn't know it. But uh, Elvis is here tonight. Did everybody know that Elvis was here? He's here. Oh, yes. Yes. And you see these folks up on stage here? Some of them are his biggest fans. I know some of them are the biggest fans. You see Elvis over there? Everybody sees Elvis. Give Elvis a hand. Yay! Now the person that I'm touching and only the person that I'm touching right now is Elvis Presley. Just Elvis Presley. You are Elvis Presley. And when you get up, everybody here is going to know who you are. You've seen Hound Dog and you've seen all kinds of Elvis Presley songs like that. And you know what? You have a magic finger, Elvis. You sure do. You have a magic finger and that finger can write autographs on anything, just anything. And you're going to see your fans here. You're going to be nice to them. You're going to sing a few songs for them. But you are in fact Elvis and they have all come here to see you. And as a matter of fact, all these people out on the crowd have come just to see you. Okay, now in just a moment, I'm gonna have you all open your eyes and wake up. On the count of three, everybody in this state, eyes open and looking at me. One, two, and three. Eyes open, everybody. Right up here, look, please. All right, you guys came to see Elvis tonight, is that right? Yeah, he's here. He's here. Elvis? Step on up here. I want you to, I want everybody to see you. You have something to say to these people here for coming to visit you? you want Thank to? you. Thank you. Give him a hand. Here's Elvis, everybody. You see him? All right. We're so glad to have you up here. Now, they probably didn't know they were going to see you at this age. You know? Do you know Elvis song? Not a single one. You really are the young Elvis, though. You know that? All right. And they came to see you, but they didn't know they were going to get to see the young Elvis. Did you? Excellent. Now, Elvis, these people came to see you. Does anyone here want Elvis's autograph? Any one of you want his autograph? You do? Okay. You want to give them your autograph with your special pin? Show them how it's done. You can autograph their hand or something, right? <coughs> Look at that. You get to keep that forever. It'll stay right there with you. Now, Elvis, you don't know any songs that you're going to write in the future. But I'll bet you do know a song, don't you? Not any song? No. Okay. What's your favorite song, Elvis? I don't know. You don't have a favorite song? Not a single one? No. Um... Uh, well, what do you do? Do you like music? Yes. What's your favorite piece of music, Elvis? Guitar. Guitar, okay. Is there somebody that plays your favorite song? I don't have a favorite. You don't have a favorite? No. Okay. <laughs> well, Elvis, I'm glad you got to come here and see these people. And this is your fan base. Everybody give Elvis a hand. We're going to put him back over here. Elvis, come on back over to your seat there, man. Thank you for coming out. Everybody look up here, please. Sleep. I ask you to relax. I ask you to look right here and follow me. There you go. Hi there, young lady. You didn't play basketball here before. Are you? <laughs> Come with me, dear. give all these people a hand up here for staying up here. They're doing a great job. Mm, that didn't work out very good, did it? But you never know what you're going to get here. 
<laughs> so what we're going to do <coughs> is we're going to do. Let's see what I've got up here. We're not using any music tonight. Why don't you put something underneath for us, Jeff? Would you do that? That's just going to help them get uh, more calm and more relaxed up here. And I think what we'll do is see if we can find the sheriff up here. <laughs> Did Jeff abandon me or is he hunting music? The person that I'm touching now. other gun out right there. Now, that shot right there just changed his shifty ways. So you're going to shoot him with this one. He's going to be a good guy after that. As soon as he hears that sound, he's going to wake right up and be a good guy. You ready for this sound? Here it comes. Let him have it, Sheriff. Son, I told you I was going to make you right. Hey. There you go. Is he better now? Let's see him. Hey, he don't look as shifty as he did before. You feeling better, kid? You smiling, you boy? No, sir. <laughs> Did you feel How are you feeling? You feel good? Yes. That second shot was amazing, wasn't it? Yes. You better watch that one right there. See that one? This one right here. Right in front of you. <laughs> Which gun should he use? The one to put him to sleep? That's the one. <laughs> She's doing everything you asked, Sheriff. What did I tell you? I told you 
told you to get out. I told you to be gone by sundown. Yeah. You're still here. Would you do something for me, Sheriff? Sure. I want you to use that other load, that special load, that quiet one. All right. Go ahead and use that quiet load. I just want you to put her to sleep. Go ahead and do that. There you go. Perfect. You've done such a good job up here, Sheriff. Look, watch this. I'm going to show you something. I learned a trick from you. I got one of your cartridges right here. All I have to do is put it right here in front of him and snap it in like this. Say, sleep, sleep. There you go, just like that. Sheriff, thank you very much for your help. Everybody give our sheriff a big round of applause for doing his job. You know what? As soon as your behind hits that chair, you're going to go right back into that deep sleep, too. There you go. That's perfect. How you doing, man? Yep. Good to see you. Doing good. Give him a round of applause, folks. Let's see what else we got up here. You know what? In just a moment, I'm going to do an interview. As I do that interview, each and every one of you is going to realize that you're a very special person. Very special indeed, because as I come by and touch those special people, each and every one of those is going to be 102 years old, and we're going to learn your story. You are 102 years old, and you are 102 years old. You, sir, are 102 years old, and you, sir, you are 102 years old. Now, as you folks think about that, and notice these guys. First of all, we've got a bunch of 102-year-old folks up here. They just made it to 102 this month. So let's give them a round of applause. Thank you. Everybody, eyes open up here. All you folks up here, I'm so glad you made it. I'm so glad you made it. Can I get you to do something for me? Would you stand up, please? Be careful now. I know it's, it's not easy for you being 102. Would you sit down right there, please? Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Now we're going to do a little interview here with these folks and find out. I'm, I'm going to ask them a few questions. Is that okay with everybody? Okay, let's ask them a few questions. Hi there, I understand you're 102 years old. What's your name? I don't remember. You don't remember your name? Has it been that long? How old are you again? Aren't you 102 years old? Do you say so? Okay. And then can you tell everybody out here, can you tell us how you found your way to live life so well that you can make it to 100 year, 102 years old? I don't remember. You don't remember? Well, I'll tell you what. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tap you on the shoulder three times and you'll find out that you do remember. One, two, three. So I'll come back to you like that. How was it you got here? In a truck. <laughs> At 102 years old you got here in a truck? You did. Them gears. Okay. Look right here please. Right here. You want to walk down now? Huh? I say you want to step down now? Okay. Come on up. Thank you for coming up. Give her a round of applause everybody. Excuse me, how old are you? How old are you? Uh, Did you forget? I think so. Okay. Well, it, is it 50? I don't know. You don't know? How did you get here? I can't remember. You can't remember? Well, I'll tell you what, and just a few moments ago, I, I told you about how old you're going to be. Do you remember that? Uh, no. Okay. Close your eyes. 
good job. I put my hand on your shoulder. Now I'm going to tap your shoulder. You'll be 102 years old as soon as you open your eyes. You'll be able to tell us a story about your life. There you go. Hi. You're 102? Yes. Okay. Well, what kind of life, what, what did you do during life to, to get you to be 102 years old? Lived it one day at a time. One day at a time. That's very good. Okay. And is there any uh, any special advice that you would give everybody out here? Just live it one day at a time. Okay, what else would you tell them? I'd make good choices. Make good choices. That's a great, great thing to do. That's a great thing to say. I thank you for being up here. What's your name? <laughs> well, it's okay. You don't have to guess about it now. You just sit up here and relax and take it easy. I'm so glad you got to come up here and be with me. Thank you. Thanks for having me. All right, then. Well, how are you doing there? What's your name again? Ed! I, I say, what's your name? My name's Cowboy. Oh, and, and you're 102? Yeah, 102. Yeah, 102. Well, how is it you, you came to live such a long life? Well, son, it's like this. You fight, you smoke, you drink, you cuss. If nobody kills you, you live to be this long. Oh, and is there any particular advice you would give these folks out here uh, to keep them alive for 102 years? Any special advice? Something. Enjoy yourself. Cuss, drink, smoke. <laughs> it sounds like you had a heck of a life out there, huh? Well, it's hard to believe that I come across in a wagon. Uh huh. I'm gonna end up dying in a damn truck. Oh, that's, that's pretty horrible. You still drive? How in the world did you get your license at 102? Who said I had a license? <laughs> <laughs> that's terrific. That's terrific. Okay. You know, the only thing I miss... Is? I think the Lord messed up. Why is this? If I'd known I was going to live this old, I'd have started praying a long time ago. It let me keep my teeth and forget about my desires. I them understand. desires ain't no ain't gonna feed you. It's them teeth that'll feed you. <laughs> I understand that. I understand that. Is there any piece of wisdom that you've collected along the way? Just a single thing that you've held on to for all this time. Find the right woman. All right then. That's awesome. Everybody give him a hand. 102 years old. We got a cowboy and a young man who doesn't remember what his name is. You guys, could I get you to look up here, please? I know it's a little bit to do. Look right up here and just sleep. Awesome. You guys are doing a great job. Now, you know, 102 years old is pretty fun. But we're going to have these guys because they're such great guys to have up here on the stage. What we're going to have them do is the guy that I'm touching right now and... The guy that I'm touching right now, I want you to drift. Let yourself drift. Just drift and relax. That's it. Drift on back to the age of five. Go ahead and lock that in. Lock that in. In just a moment, I'm going to have you guys open your eyes. And the very moment you do, you're going to be five years old. So as you listen to that nice music play in the background there, we'll just give you a count of three. You'll open your eyes and you'll find yourself at five years old. One, two, three, eyes wide open. Hey boys. Hey. Hey man. 
<laughs> hey, what's your, what's your name? What's your name? My mommy called me son. She does? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, that's cool. What's your name? Dennis. Dennis. This is Dennis, and this is son. Hi, Dennis. <laughs> hey. Well, hang on, you guys, just one more. You know what? I wanted to ask you a question. This is a pretty cool question. That's my buddy. Is he? <laughs> All right, then. Easy now. All right, here we go. Now, this is an important question. I want you guys to pay close attention now. Is there anything that your folks ever told you to never, never do? What would that be? Smoke a cigarette. Uh-oh. What about you? Drink a beer. Drink a beer? My goodness. Have you ever smoked a cigarette? Not yet. Not yet? What about you? Have you drank a beer? No. And, and you're five? What about you? You're five? Mommy don't know. <laughs> That's excellent. Now, did they ever say anything about, uh, now maybe you shouldn't cuss, or maybe you shouldn't, uh, well, they said not to smoke. That's a good one, right? She told me. She told me not to pee on the floor. Oh, and yeah, did you do that? Yeah. Why? I, I missed the toilet. My wee wee ain't very big. I missed the toilet. Uh, all right. <laughs> what, what, what did you do? What was it? I threw stuff. Uh oh. What? What happened? I threw a cup, a glass cup. You did. Did your mom see you do it? No. Uh-oh. But she was coming home. Uh-huh. My dad was asleep. He was? And why'd you throw the cup? Because I got mad. Oh, I what made her mad? I get mad. You get mad too? What do you get mad about? <laughs> Mommy and Daddy won't let me do things. Like what? They always tell me no. Really? What's your favorite thing to do? Play hide and seek. Hide and seek? There's lots of kids where you're at? No, I just go hide and then my daddy got to find me. Uh-huh. Okay, what about you? They tell me not to go far from the house. Oh, okay. Why, do you go far from the house? All the time. Why? Because my friend, almost all my friends except for him, live over far from my house. They do? Okay. But shouldn't you do what mom and dad say? Yeah. Yeah? Because they're looking out for you, huh? Yeah. Mommy don't know, don't hurt her. <laughs> okay, that's guys. What, that's what my big brother said. Is that what he says? Yeah, he's... My big brother said it. If Mommy don't find out, she can't clip us. <laughs> yeah. All right. Hey, boys. Look up here now. Right here. Now, sleep. There you go. Everybody give them a hand. They're doing a great job. They made terrific five-year-olds, don't you think? Thank you, guys. Thank you. You did a real good job, both of you. Well, this is going to change things just a little bit. So what I'm going to do is both of you guys are back to your original places. You're your age. You're your age. You have your name. You have your name, just like it always was. And when you wake up, you're going to notice a box sitting out in front of you. <clears throat> you guys are terrific inventors, both of you are. And this box that's out in front of you, you're going to tell me what's inside of it. I'm going to ask you individually what new invention you've just come up with right here. And it's sitting in this box. So I want you to think about that invention that you've made and put in that box that you're going to tell us all about. On a count of three, eyes wide open, one, two, three, wide away. All right. What's your name again? Briar. You're, you're an inventor, aren't you, Briar? Briar, what, uh, what, what do you got in the box there, man? The tire to the bicycle. It's a what, huh? It's a tire to a bicycle. It is? And you invented it? Yes. What, is it a special bike? Yes. Tell me all about it. It's the lightest bike in the world. It's the lightest bike in the world, huh? And what else? And it's also the coolest. 
the coolest bike in the world too, okay? And that tire fits in that box right there? Yep. Really? What color is it? Black and chrome. Black and chrome. So that's tire and wheel both. Okay, but it's the lightest thing. You know what? This guy says, you know, he's got an invention. He says, ah, I think it's in that box right there. What do you think about that? No, it's mine. It's yours? Well, let's ask him to see what he says. Sir. Yes, sir. Cowboy, right? Yes, sir. Tell, tell us about what you invented there. I invented an invisible can opener. An invisible can opener? What? I, I'm sorry, but how, how in the world are you going to find it if you open up the can? If you need to open up the can, I mean. That's why I got the patent on it. You have the patent, okay. <laughs> it's invisible. Okay. You can never break it, you can never lose it. Mm -hmm. But you'll have to keep buying one because you can never find it, That's right? That's how I get my money. Okay, I understand. <laughs> That's a brilliant idea, everybody. <laughs> what can we say about that? Well, let's give these inventors a hand, guys. <laughs>